Hello everybody. Uh, today I will discuss the best way to manage state in your next JS application. Not the best way. I mean the way that is the most easiest and works most of the time. So on the screen you can see I have uh, built a custom chatbot builder. Uh, basically you can create your own chatbot and train it with your own custom data and then chat with it. And uh, here uh, in on this screen so the main purpose of this screen is to show you how to do this kind of uh, state management things easily so this is the next js application and on this page i have three separate components the first component is selecting the base chatbot the second component is customizing the chatbot and different characters temperatures different prompts things like that and the third component is actually uh, the chat widget which will actually call the OpenAI API to get the results. Now, uh, the problem here is these three components are kind of sibling components. So let me show you it in the page. So this is the page. Here you can see that this in this page, these three components are side by side. And you will notice that they are not wrapped by anything. So usually when you are trying to pass data between these kind of sibling components, the usual way is to wrap all of them into a context or maybe Redux or Zustand or something like that to pass data between them. Because this last component is actually depending on the input from this component and this component. I mean, the chatbot base component and the character component, right? Now, uh, the problem with uh, wrapping context or Zustand or Redux, whatever you say, is, is so Next.js is not 100% suited for those kind of scenarios as we are trying to achieve more server-side rendering and things like that. So you would have to add an extra layer on top of that. So to avoid that, what you can do or what I usually do is I use URL parameters to do this simple state management things. So let me show you uh, because uh, may, they may not share any common parent where we can store the state but all of them share a common thing, which is this URL. So basically this component has access to URL, this component has access to URL, and this last chat widget component also has access to the URLs. So using the URLs, you can manage your state uh, in an easier fashion. So let me demonstrate. You will see if I switch the characters, this last parameter is changing, right? If I change the temperature, you will see that this temperature is changing. Uh, also, this chatbot parameter will stay same because I only have one right now. So if I had two, if I would switch between those, you will see that this chatbot parameter would also change. And essentially on your actual chatbot widget, you can just uh, read from the URLs, whatever is there right now. And uh, you can send your requests based on that. So just to demonstrate, uh, If I ask this question, let me open up the network tab. You will see this ask question is using this temperature 0 0.63, right? Because currently it's 0 0.63. If I increase it, if I send the request again, now it is using 0 0.77 because that's what is in the uh, URL parameters. So using this technique uh, helps in a lot of other ways as well. So you can avoid many re-renderings and things like that. It's easy to manage, easy to understand. It's easy to share. So you can just share your current state with someone else and they will just see this uh, exact UI that you are seeing right now. Uh, what are the drawbacks? The drawbacks are uh, the limit of the URLs. So I believe there is a limit on how much character you can put on the URL, maybe 900 characters or something like that. You, you can search it, but the idea is you actually can't put anything and everything into the URL, right? For example, if I try to put these questions if in the into the URL as well, that will work until the questions get unusually longer uh, and then it, it isn't practical anymore. So that's the thing that I wanted to discuss today. Uh, this is the easiest way for me to uh, share data between different sibling components in a Next.js application. I hope you learned something new.
and uh, if you like this you can like share and uh, thank you for watching bye